It's a very disturbing situation, and uh, as heartbreaking as the numbers are, unfortunately, uh, we have to report our affiliate BFM, uh, our Paris affiliate now reporting, at least 60 people are confirmed dead in uh, what is clearly a Paris terror attack, and who knows how many people have been injured in uh, explosions, gunfire, AK-47s in multiple parts of the French capital. Uh, Evan Perez, our justice reporter, is getting more information as well. Uh, Evan, what are you learning? Well, Wolf, we know that uh, counterterrorism uh, officials here in the United States have convened uh, secure conference calls around the country uh, to try to gather information. They don't know yet what they're dealing with and really to assess whether there's any danger here to U.S. cities. So far, there's no indication of any actual threats uh, here in the United States, but it is something that they're keeping an eye on. And Wolf, immediately, uh, what, what they're looking at here is, uh, again, from a distance, having very little information uh, on the ground yet from Paris, uh, what they're immediately media suspicion uh, from officials that I've talked to is that, you know, we, the, the French have long been worried and the U.S. has long been worried about returnees, people who uh, have gone to fight in Syria and Iraq and have returned. And so that's the first place where everybody is looking, uh, looking at the population of people who uh, the French have been concerned about. They've had a very hard time keeping track of, which Jim Shudo and, and Paul Krinkshack have been talking a little bit about in the last hours. So that's where this investigation begins. Again, there's no confirmation yet of of who actually carried this out, but obviously the coordinated, uh, the appearance of coordination in these attacks is not escaping anyone's notice. U.S. counterterrorism officials are very much uh, keeping an eye on this, Wolf. Our French affiliate once again now reporting at least 60 people are dead in what clearly is now uh, considered to be a terror attack unfolding in multiple locations in Paris right now. Uh, uh, we're also told, uh, our White House correspondent Jim Acosta has been told by a White House official that President Obama has been briefed on the situation in Paris by the Assistant to the President for Homeland Security and Counterterrorism.